Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a more in-depth uh, tutorial, more in-depth tutorial on how to spiral perm your hair step by step. A few people asked for this video and so here we are going to be doing it. Also my sister Ashley is going to be helping do the perm. So you'll be seeing her in the video. Right now I look like a poof head mess. Cause I need a new perm. And because there's no product in my hair. So let's get into it. First step is washing your hair with a clarifying shampoo and no conditioner. I'm at my sister's house and she has this handy dandy salon in her house. Very convenient for doing your hair. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, obviously if you're doing this at home, you're gonna wash your hair in your shower. That's normally what I do, but Ashley has a fancy Set up. setup. Next up, brush your hair out and section it into four. Like, part it completely down the middle and then two sides. These are the rods that I use. I got them off of Amazon. And I'll have the link down below. There's hair on them. <laughs> also, this is the perm that I always use. Quantum Ultra Firm. And I get it at Sally's, but you can only get it at Sally's if you're professional. So you can get it on Amazon. It just cost a little bit more on Amazon. So if you open up the box, it will tell you all the instructions of what to do. How long? Normal to resistant hair, 20 minutes. I would always, if you haven't permed your hair before, I would start out with the like 10 minutes or six minutes, this says, and work up. But seeing I've used this before, I know that 20 minutes works in my hair. So this is what I use, and it comes up with a neutralizer, and then you mix these two together. And then it also comes with a clear cap. Is this it? You're going to take your section, and then you're going to have a comb, or your finger, sometimes it's easier with your finger, and you just take a row, not very thick, because you're using the small ones. Depending on how small your rods is, is how thick of a row you're gonna have. These combs work really good for parting rat tail combs. So then once you have your section, then you take another little section and then you're gonna take your end paper. You got these at Sally's too. Yeah. They come in like a box of a bunch. Just take your end paper and split it in half over top of the hair and pull it down to the ends. Make sure you get your ends in. And if your hair starts to dry out, you can just use a water bottle to get it more wet. So take your rod and you start from the bottom and you just twist And so then the hair, see where the hair is coming from your scalp to there? That's where you want to pull this over and clip it. Like that. And then you just keep doing that 
until your whole entire head is completely full. I actually like to do it long ways so then you have more hair in the end paper in case your hair is like different lengths. It'll keep it in better. I think it's easier if the string is on the top and you go down. If you have thicker and longer hair, you're going to have to take smaller sections because to compensate for how long your hair is compared to the rod. Because you don't want too much hair on yeah. the rod. And if it's longer, it's gonna take more space. And so there is one row. And you keep doing it until you get to the top. Okay, we got all the rods in, looking like a porcupine. And now the next step is to apply Vaseline and cotton around the perimeter of your hairline so it doesn't, the solution doesn't get in your eyes. And then the next thing after you do that is saturate the rods with the perm solution. So you'll have to mix the waving lo lotion and the thermalizer together then you saturate your whole head. There it is. Where am I doing? Oh. Cotton in Vaseline. Petroleum Jala. Oh, we get our petroleum jelly from Walmart. Your local store for like a dollar. And then this, you can get this cotton coil, which looks like this, at Sally's, or I got mine, you can get a small, little, tiny one on Amazon. If you don't want to buy a bigger one. And this just helps so you don't get the perm solution in your face. Now you mix those two together and then you're going to have to cut the top after you shake it together and then you saturate the rod. Shake it, shake it. And if you get confused, just read the instructions inside of the perm box. If you're doing it yourself,
yourself, it's easier to work like in quadrants so you remember what uh, rods that you've done. I saw your video. You watch my videos? Yeah. Uh huh. I saw you make your green hay. You did? Yeah. And you do that. And Jacob hair. Because <laughs> <laughs> like you. If you have like longer and thicker hair, I'd recommend buying two perms just in case you need more solution. Just so you don't run out halfway through your hair. Yeah, that'd be the worst thing ever. <laughs> Especially when you took so long to wrap it. What does perfect even mean? Is there <laughs> As you can see, you should buy two boxes. <laughs> Just in case. My hair, my hair has grown, grown four inches since I left. <laughs> <laughs> my hair has grown four inches. Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine. One one. Now we put this plastic cap on it to uh, contain the body heat. These things. They don't work very good. I have normal one. From your scalp to keep it warm. And as I said earlier, I, if it's your first time, start out with the uh, smallest amount of processing time and then work up. Check it. I'm just cheating and using an easier cap. <laughs> <laughs> we'll show you how to check it even though it doesn't need to be checked. I look lovely. Okay, let me shut this off. 20 minutes, BRB. Okay, it's been 20 minutes, and I'm we're gonna I'm just gonna show you guys, or we're gonna show you guys how to do a test curl. So you take it out and you unroll it a little bit, and you see if there's a wave pattern or a curl pattern. And that's what she's doing. Oh, see how that curly. Boing, so boing, we know boing. that it is done. Now, next step is uh, you rinse your hair for five minutes. So if you're at home, you're gonna jump in the shower, that's what I did, and just have the shower on top of your head, moving your head around for, set a timer for five minutes. Okay, now that we rinse for five minutes, you have to dry it so it's not dripping. Painful process. <laughs> kind of like squeeze the rods with the towel to get as much moisture out as you can. Now that we dried it, we are taking the neutralizer and if you're using one perm bottle, you use three-fourths of it and leave about one-fourth left in the bottle and saturate the Once you saturate the rods with the neutralizer, you leave it on for five minutes. And then you take the rods out. Okay, now that it's been five minutes, you'll take out your rods with the solution in.
Okay. Now we're gonna put the rest of the neutralizer, run it through the hair, and then rinse it for the last five minutes. Okay, and now we are completely done perming my hair. Yay! Now you just have to wait 48 hours before you wash it again. So I'll see you guys in 48 hours. <laughs> Bye! Okay, it's been 48 hours. I washed my hair, put the product in, and now you successfully completed your perm. Yay! Good job, good job, good job. This is what my hair looks like. Wet. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped you. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, comment down below. Bye. Pew, 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 pew. Woo! I punch it. Hello, Uga. There's two vehicles up there. I'm Mr. Kendra. You are my guest. Guys, you want to make a song? You want to make a song? Look at the weather. I'm about to go look at the weather. Is somebody wrong? Ah, ah, ah. A jingle, a jingle, jingle, jingle pop. A jingle, a jingle, a jingle, jingle pop. Mm.